Hey guys, Pooja and Ravi here. Happy Diwali to everyone celebrating. So today we have a box of Indian candies and it's my first time seeing some of these sweets. Yeah, so we got these from Ravi's mom. So thanks mom. Thanks mom. Yeah, so we went out with my family for a Diwali dinner the other night and this is what we took away with us. Yeah, so this is from the Tiffin room. Uh, oh, it's, it's at Raffles Hotel here in Singapore. Bada and Burfi. So this one's made of almond. I like the BB in the name. Yeah, why is that? You know, the alliteration, so it's like satisfying here. Bottom, Burfi, two Bs. Uh huh. Yeah, and it reminds me of a movie, Barfi. Oh. Priyanka Chopra. The one with Priyanka Chopra. Yeah, and uh, I wonder whether the candy will taste like the movie. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah. I think of the, the, of the sweets we've tried so far, this one is like the most sugary. Mmm, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, and what I really like about this too is there's a little logo of the place that made it on it. I just, and I wonder whether it's edible. Oh, I don't think it is. It's made yeah. of plastic. It's like a little yeah, sign. Yeah, really, really can't eat this. Yeah. You guys think this is edible? <laughs> yeah, because you know like sometimes on cakes and stuff they put little signages made out of chocolate. Mm. I mean, it's so small that if I ate it, probably nothing bad would happen to I me. I don't think it'd be life-threatening, but you might regret it to a certain extent. Yeah, the fine distinction between plastic and chocolate. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put this back. Uh, so the next one is Kaju Cranberry Barfi. So this one is cashews and cranberry. Thank you. So it's Barfi again. Yeah, burfi. it's a different type of Barfi because this one's made of cashews. I wonder what Barfi means. Like, does it? Ref I wonder whether it refers to like candy or. I think something. it's just like a dessert thing. It's a dessert thing. Yeah. Yeah, to, to me it looks like a little bit like a PB and J sandwich. Oh yeah, it does look like a little sandwich. It's a tiny sandwich. Minus the peanut butter because it only has the red jam in it. Yeah, I remember visiting like the sweet shops in India. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know how everything is just like laid out for you and uh, they're really just so helpful, I think, in helping introduce the different sweets to you. Yeah, and, they all wanted you to try different things. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's so worth it because everything is like packed into that box when you when you actually pick out the sweets and buy them. Mm. Let's see. This one... It tastes the most berry-ish. Yeah, because of the center layer. Yeah, like cranberries. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah the center is cranberry. cranberries. Yeah. It almost tastes like a little bit Western, mm -hmm. I think, because it kind of reminds me of like, you know, uh, cranberry pudding and other pies oh. with like blueberry pie. Yeah, normally the sweet doesn't have cranberry in the center, but this is a nice touch that they added. So usually it's just like a cashew taste, I think? Yeah, yeah. usually it's without the center. Basan ladu. Basan ladu. Basan yeah. ladu. So this one is made from chickpea flour. So my first impressions of it, it kind of looks like a planet. A planet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like a really tiny piece of, um, it looks like sweet foil on top of it, if you guys can see. Like it's a little piece of silver. So that's, that's really glittery. Okay. Yeah. So let's take a bite and try it out. It's a very special um, combination of flavors here because it's like when you first bite into it, it's, it's solid, it's a little bit like bread. Mm -hmm. Like something big. Mm -hmm. But uh, then the sweetness comes in. Oh. Yeah, so I've had something like this before called Bundi Ladu. I wonder whether it's the same thing. Mm, no, I think that the raw ingredient here is different. This is chickpeas. Oh, okay. So no wonder like there's a little bit more of a vegetable taste here. <laughs> yeah. I think of the two, I have to say I prefer Bundi Ladu. Okay, because it's sweeter. So what is it that makes Bundi Ladu sweeter than this? Probably more sugar. Yeah, they like I think that they on the outside look the same to me. Mm -hmm. I mean this one does look a little bit more chickpea-ish. I can kind of now see the chickpeas. It's less orange, yeah. Yeah, less I, I've seen Bundi Ladu that's not orange as well, like kind of like a white color. Is mm -hmm. or am I imagining things? White color. Are you talking about Rasgulla? Uh, oh yeah, Ras Rasgulla, another Probably one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, no Rasgulla today though. Yeah, just uh, solid sweets. Yeah. Yeah, so let's, uh, maybe let's try the next one. What do we have? Um, so oh. next we have Gajar Katli. So this one is made of dates. Nice. Wow. Look at this, guys. I think the shape of it is really satisfying to look at. It's like such a perfect square. It's like a brick. Yeah, it's like a square brick and uh, 
And this square is gonna be really satisfying, I, I anticipate. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of fruity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit more like candy than the first thing we tried. Because it's more chewy, right? Yeah, it's more chewy, and I think there's like a little bit more of a sugar flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I would say like the quantity of it is probably just right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like some other um, desserts are like too large, but. You know, these are like in small quantities, so you can kind of like enjoy little bits of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you had this before? Uh, I have had this before, yeah. Okay, I, I can say with confidence that this is my first time having this. Mm. Yeah, because I, I just, I mean, I, I think I would kind of recognize them if I had them before, but these all look really new to me. So the last one we have is Anjir Amaranth. Um, this one I haven't tried. It's made of figs though, so it can't be too bad for you. Right. It's really cute looking. It's like, it's all, you know, uh, the outer lining is all these little uh, circles. <laughs> Maybe these are like seeds or something. Yeah, and, and I have to say that if it was figs on its own, I wouldn't eat it because I'm not into figs. But if it's fig candy, that's something that I'm open to. Oh. It's actually the the softest mm -hmm. of all the sweets. Yeah. I can definitely taste the fig. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, it's almost like a bit of a. It's, it's a very like uh, it's very fragrant. Mm. Yeah, it's almost like I, I feel like I'm in the forest, you know, <laughs> <laughs> because I, I can really taste the figs. This one has the most natural taste, I would say. But yeah, nat natural is the word. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the least like um, sugary. I think. I mean, it is still sweet. It's it's still sugary, but it's more it's more uh, natural tasting. Yeah. And, uh, so, which one is your favorite out of all of these five that we tried today? Oh wow, such a such a difficult decision. I'm gonna have to say that the uh, Kaju Cranberry Burfi is my favorite. Yeah, definitely one of the two middle Burfis is is probably my favorite. Yeah. So it's like it's it's the taste and also like I think the presentation. Yeah, I like how it's like very compact. Yeah. You're yeah, able to get all of that flavor in, in one bite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are we going to be doing for Diwali this year? So we're going to be doing some rangoli. We might make a vlog out of that, which might come out on Sunday or Monday. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.